Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Ontiveros, and this is my robot Steve. And welcome to my wise and Unreal Engine implementation demo project for Stackobot. Today, I will go over the blueprints I created, as well as explaining a bit of my implementation process and how I approach adding sounds to bring my project to life. So let's get started. So here is the inside of my robot blueprint, and we have quite a bit going on here, so I broke them all down into individual sections. Let's first look at the blueprint that shows our robot jumping and landing. I used a lot of anim notifiers to trigger our sound effects within our animations. So if we open up the animation of our robot jumping and landing, you'll see I place these individual notifiers here and sync them to the point where I want the sound to be triggered. I did a similar approach with the jetpack by using anim notifiers, but I also had to use a stop actor in order to get each prior sound to stop when entering the next animation event. Without it, the jetpack loop would continue to play the event even after the event was over. And finally, we have our power off sound effect, which I assigned to do once per each robot. This event will also trigger the spawn sound effect, which sounds like this. The footsteps begin by setting up our surfaces and our project settings. Then, I created physical materials for each surface. Back inside WISE, a switch group was made where each switch represents the material assigned in Unreal, and a switch container was created to hold all my footstep sound effects, and within that, we have random containers for each material. This way our footsteps won't sound the same and will be randomized when triggered. We can see I grouped our materials to our footsteps container. And in order for this to work properly, we had to create a blueprint for us to be able to execute this function. Once again, I am using anim notifiers to trigger my events to each running animation. A line trace is then positioned to identify the surface type below, and a hit surface to identify the physical materials that are assigned. Then we gather that information into our set switch, and this is where I'm able to assign our materials we created in WISE. And this is how our dynamic footsteps sound. There's plenty of objects around the map that are interactive, so let's begin with the elevator. I added two wise post events for when the elevator moves to either the start or end position, and adjusted the duration of the sound effects to fit accordingly to the elevator movement. Same thing with the doors, just two post events, one for when the door opens, and one for when it closes. I should also point out the button blueprint. All I did was swap out the old 2D audio from the default project and replaced it with my wise post event. You'll also notice I used a delay before the post event. The reason is because the animation of our robot pressing the button is about 0.2 seconds long. That way we could cue our sound at the right moment. The metal containers move around in the game. So to make it immersive, I wanted to add sounds for when you interact with these containers. Inside the event graph is just a post event connected to our actor overlap. And in order for us to trigger the sound, I added a box collider around the surface of our metal container. That way when the player encounters the box collider, it will trigger the sound. The player can activate these large fan turbines, so I thought it would make sense to add the sounds of the fan motor turning on and looping until the player turns off the fan. So I added post events for when the fan turns on and off. Back inside WISE, I used a blend container to blend the sound of the fan turning on, followed by the looping sound of the fan. And when the player steps off the platform, the fan will stop. A 
course we have to have the sound of the player picking up these orbs, so I just removed the previous meta sound source and replaced it with the post event created in Wise. Unfortunately, the foliage and the trees are baked into the terrain, so instead, I added box colliders to all the bushes to trigger the sounds of the player running into the bushes. The map is made of several reverb zones, so I wanted the world to sound immersive. The first reverb zone was the interior of the building, which has a low drone pulse as the room tone. And as we exit the building, we can hear as we enter the next reverb zone outside. There are several emitters placed around the map, so the wind sounds like it's coming from all directions of the canyon. In fact, the further you go up, the more aggressive the wind becomes. Same thing with the industrial building. Now that we broke down all the audio blueprints, here's what our game sounds like. Thank you for watching my WISE implementation demo, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about the implementation demo, please let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you have your own, let me know, I would love to take a look at it. Thanks for watching.